Hi again, everyone. Miss Emily here. Wonderful to see you again soon, whether it was just 10 minutes ago or maybe a few days ago or maybe yesterday. So first thing, um, let's get started. We should have our read and remind me again what we're supposed to be doing with our reads. <laughs> and we also want to soak it in the back. Now, for some of you who are at home a lot right now, which is most of us, Sometimes you hear or see people soaking them in a glass of water or in a little Tupperware container. That's fine, but you don't want to do it for more than 30 seconds. Otherwise, you're going to soak your reed with too much water and it's called water logging and you're actually going to ruin it. Um, and then you might not have access to more reeds right now. And it's also a little bit of a waste of money. So make sure I, I keep it in my mouth sometimes only 15, 20 seconds and then 15, 20 seconds on the back side too. And then I go ahead and put it on my clarinet. So make sure your reed is nice and wet, make sure it's not dry. And then remember, we want our reed right in the middle and we want the reed coming up to the top of the mouthpiece. And we want our ligature just below where the wood is hard. If you put the ligature too far up, the reed is gonna have a hard time vibrating and you're gonna get a really, really difficult sound. So again, go ahead, show me your ligature. And ligature is French for tie because it means to hold and we're going to hold our read on so show me a read you can do this to the side a little to show me that it lines up up there and that your ligature is right in between the hard parts of the read and everything is straight on um, some of you might have your ligature on backwards please only do that if you know for sure if you've had a teacher tell you it's a backwards ligature if no one's ever told you that please make sure your ligature looks like mine Okay, um, go ahead and check that everything is working out. Um, so far, our two vocabulary words, we have our ligature and we have our posture. So we wanna be sitting up nice and tall so that our lungs can really be full from back to front. Check um, that everything sounds good. Okay, everything's good on my end. If it's not good on your end, go ahead and push pause and adjust everything. If not, we're moving on to this hour's lesson. This time, we already talked about stretching and breathing. We already talked about warm-ups. We're gonna talk about some activities that involve scales and different styles and techniques. Now, again, some of you have your books from band to practice, you have individual solos. You should definitely still be doing all of that, but this is an addition to. So you're always gonna do your warm-ups. You're always gonna do your scale and techniques exercises, and then, you should do all the other fun music that you have at home or that you can find online. So today we're gonna to focus on B flat concert major and F concert major. Now, for those of you who have been playing for a while, a couple months, some of you over a year, these will be familiar concepts. But for us clarinet players, let's start with B flat major. Now, B flat major just on clarinet would be but because we play in a band, we have to match everything that the band plays. Now, the clarinet itself is called a B flat clarinet, but everyone else plays in the key of C. So in order for, to get from B flat to C, we have to take everything up a whole step. So if your director says, okay, we're gonna play B flat concert major, which note are you as clarinet players going to start on? Good, if you answered C, you are correct. If not, I'm glad you know now. So we're actually gonna start on C. Now, we are gonna start on C, but first let's talk about what's in our key signature. If we start on C, or we're playing a piece in C, what is in our key signature? Which is the little area at the front of the line on all of your music. It says maybe four, four time, and then it has symbols. Good, so. For us, it will be all naturals, no flats, no sharps. So we're gonna go straight up from C to C, okay? So what I would like you to do, um, take a minute and pause the video and make sure you feel comfortable with your scale going from C to C. Um, I'm gonna play through the notes just in case you wanna practice with me before we do it together. <laughs> Now, for those of you, keep practicing if you need to, but remember C, D, E, thumb, F, G, A, B, every single finger, and we have a double thumb over our break back here, B, C. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play it together in half notes. Half notes get how many beats per note? 
two, okay? So it'll be one, two, one, two. Let's play it together, just going bottom to top. One, two, ready? <laughs> my camera a little bit so you can hopefully see my whole clarinet. Now this time let's do that for some of our more advanced students in just quarter notes. If you're not advanced and you want to practice you can press pause or you can fast forward until we get to our next scale. So next or this next time I want us to go ta 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 just right up the scale in quarter notes. Ready? And one, two, ready? <laughs> Good. Now this time let's go up. Let's repeat the top note and come right back down. Ready? One, two, ready. Very nice. Now, before we get to our last pattern, I want you to remember something we talked about in our last lesson, which is our breath support, okay? When we breathe, our air should come all the way from our mouth down through the bottom of our lungs. So we're actually breathing from here. And my air can get me through an entire scale. If we're just going, we're not gonna get as much air as we need. So for this next exercise, Let's make sure we really breathe and we can get all the way through the top of our scale and then we can breathe and come back down, okay? But really big, lots of air support, okay? Now, our next um, pattern that we're going to use is quarter, eighth, eighth, quarter, eighth, eighth. So it'll be ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti. Let's try that one, two, ready. <gasps> Let's do that one more time. Let's go to the top, take a deep breath, repeat that high C pattern and come back down. For those of you who are more advanced, you can even take this whole exercise up an entire octave. Let's play it together one more time. One, two, and ready. <sighs> Okay, very nice job. Again, pause, practice those, rewind, fast forward, so that you start feeling really good about all those exercises on C major. Now, the last exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna move to a new key, which many of you still play in your band books, called F major. Now, F concert major, remember, well actually first, F major for us would just start on F, and it would go up to the next F, it would go. <laughs> We're very familiar with that. But if we're in band and everyone else is playing in the key of C and our clarinets are clarinets in B flat, we have to take everything up a whole step. So we're not actually gonna play in F, well, F concert. We are going to start a whole step up. And what's a whole step up from F? It's G, very nice job. Now, what is in our key signature for G? What would be our sharps or our flats or our naturals? What would be over there at the beginning of every line of music? I'll give you a hint. It's only one of something. One sharp. And the name of that sharp is F sharp, okay? So for us, we're gonna start on G, low G, which is thumb, one, two, three, one, two, three. And we have B naturals, which is our middle finger. And then when we get up to F, we have to use our front finger F sharp. We're not gonna use our back finger. We're gonna make sure we're on F sharp with our front finger. So if you need to, you can pause, you can review that, or you can just warm up and practice it with me for a minute. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I think I got it. So we're gonna do the same three scale patterns that we just did. First time, F concert major, which is our G major, on half notes. Let's repeat the top note and come back down to. Ready? One, two, half notes. <laughs> Very nice job. Did you get your middle finger B natural? And did you get your F sharp front finger? No F naturals? Okay, let's move on to ta, ta, ta on quarter notes. Ready? And one, two, ready. <laughs> You can practice and pause, or pause and practice if you need to. Now, notice how I'm keeping all of my articulation very light. It's not a heavy tonguing, it's not <laughs> or it's not <laughs> I'm keeping a really professional sound by sitting up tall and supporting with my embouchure. Now, if your embouchure is starting to get tired, remember you can always press pause, you can wait a moment before we resume. And I'm keeping my fingers really free over here. Strong thumb, lots of freedom with my fingers. Now, our last pattern is Ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti. Repeat the top pattern and we'll come back down. Ready? And one, two, ready. Wonderful job, friends. Now, the last thing I want you to remember is let's say you're more advanced and you know more scales than this. You can apply these patterns that I just gave you to every single scale, whether it's major scales, minor scales, chromatic scales. It's important that you can do more than just bum, 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 bum. Okay? It's really nice to have these different um, rhythms so that you can practice your articulation, your tonguing. Remember staccato, legato slur, and just our regular tonguing, okay? So if you know more scales, if you know some minor ones, and maybe you know F major and E flat major, do these exercises for all your scales, which are for a lot of you in the back of those scale books that you might have. Okay, last thing, if some of you want an extra challenge, we can go in thirds. So we can go back to starting on our C, and instead of just going up, <laughs> We're gonna go in thirds, which means we're gonna go note number one. We're gonna skip note number two and go up to three. So it's gonna be one, three, two, four, three, five. It's a very, very elevated concept. Maybe some of you are not there at all, but just in case you are, here's a little uh, practice challenge that you can do. Can be for any scale, just like our other things. Let's start on C, um, on our C. So here's our last challenge for today. Thirds, one, two, ready. It has been such a pleasure having another video session with you. As a reminder, if you want to email me videos or have any questions, you can email me at emilykibitsky at gmail.com. It's my name, Emily, E-M-I-L-Y, Kibitsky, K-U-B as in boy, I-T-S-K-E-Y, and keep up that practicing. <laughs> Bye guys.